Lee Lowry Boulevard, formerly known as Ashby Street, meets Ralph David Abernathy Avenue in that pseudo black mecca called Hot Lanta. ATL, the dirtiest part of the Derby South that wears those white laced gloves on Sundays. He was there poised beneath the traffic light, left hand turn lane, onyx eyes swimming in this sea of creamy mahogany with this crown of dreaded serpents about his head and a silver hoop dangling in one eye twinkling beneath the sunshine beckoning me. He was there poised looking like a cross between Wesley Snipes and Jesus. What Jesus really looked like or maybe it was Osiris. I don't know but he was there and he was poised. This <laughs> magnificent majestic mysterious principle against the madness of urban decay where many of his brothers trudged the same streets with crosses weighted suiting their backs, razors in one hand, emaciated phalluses in the other, and Bible verses clogging their first eye. But he, he was poised, fertile, and free. He looked into me, so I became the virgin before Jesus. Or maybe Isis drifting somewhere off in flight while he was hip-hop and holy, holy, holy. Father, son, and ghost, the most magic I had touched for a while, perhaps forever. He was full enough to fill me with just a look. He sang a sonata without as much as a smile, and he floated me somewhere off on the rivers of his soul to some place I know I've been before, but I couldn't go that day because I was in the left-hand turn lane going the other way. <laughs> Where Reverend Dr. Joseph E. Lowry Boulevard, formerly known as Ashby Street, meets Ralph David Abernathy Avenue in that pseudo black mecca called Hot Lanta, ATL, that dirtiest part of the dirty South that wears those white laced gloves on Sunday. And it was Monday with impatient cars honking behind me. So all I could do was squeal in ecstasy and pray he heard me praise his divinity that baptized my soul, hip hop and holy, holy, baptized my soul and set me free for a moment. He was.